So this was mentioned already, members, but this website is called Pregnancy and Parenting. It is not just a parenting website. It is called Pregnancy and Parenting. Pregnancy includes an abortion. Abortion is health care. And this legislature passed a six-week abortion ban that is deeply unpopular. And as we wait for its implementation, as a Supreme Court case is still pending on the 15-week ban, we need to brace ourselves. Because the situation for reproductive care for pregnancy services is going to change dramatically in Florida. And a website is not going to solve the crisis. We're going to see an exodus of women leave the state of Florida seeking access to an abortion. And I don't want them to go to a state website and not be given the assistance, not be shared on a level of trust, and not be given the resources they need to make a decision that's right for them and their family. And right now, based on what's in the bill and based on what we've heard in, in testimony on this bill, the intention is to basically pretend like abortion isn't real. Abortion doesn't exist. It's not a thing. And I just think that is so disrespectful to our constituents who go to an institution like the Department of Health. And by the way, Florida has one of the strongest histories of public health. You might not know this, but the Department of Health was very much established because of mosquitoes in our state. Because we started seeing the diseases associated with mosquitoes before many other states. And so our Department of Health was born out of necessity and it was it, it, it has historically been one of the most trusted for generations now of course as Rebento mentioned there are concerns very valid but i want to make sure that we try to maintain as much trust as possible and a part of that is ensuring that if we're going to spend half a million dollars on a website that is a lot of money half a million dollars on a website Let's make sure that it's accurate. Let's make sure it's comprehensive. Let's make sure that it helps a person of every political background, of every ideology, of every income, of every faith. Let's make sure that it's a truly a reliant source of information that isn't coercive in nature, but provides objectivity for someone to make the right decision for them. And so members, I, I know a website, it might sound kind of silly for us to be debating, <laughs> maybe sounds harmless, but it can be very harmful when someone goes to a resource and it's not comprehensive. It, it makes them think that that's all that's available to them. That's not true. We're lying to people if we say that's all that is available to them. And I cannot vote in good faith for something that is disingenuous, that is politically motivated, that does not provide a clear approach to this issue that instead pushes state propaganda. I filed an amendment last year calling the six-week abortion ban the Forced Pregnancy Act. Please don't make this the Forced Pregnancy website. Make this a website that is comprehensive, that is honest, and that doesn't have our political agenda interfere. Public health should not be politicized. Bottom line. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.